and we're rolling. And actually, the uh, Liberal, they're at the two hour mark. They've left that engine running for two hours while they in their man bun is in there talking about global warming and climate change uh, and stuff in Starbucks. The reason I'm making this video, I hadn't planned to make another one all day. I don't really plan ahead too much. But a woman came up and I'm going to quote her. I didn't do it for you. I did it for me. A woman came up with not one but two bags of Starbucks food, you know, that's usually 50 bucks that I'd prefer to have in cash, not in paper bags and open containers that attract the ants, et cetera. Although the ants will be, I'm trying to be very scientifically on a chill day like this. The ants are not going to be very active, but at least she admitted and I said, that's what I know is he, I tried to explain to her that I'm not going to eat food that might make me sick. I've made videos about him. And that is pretty well known here. And she, she actually even tried to said, I'm going to leave them anyway. I said, no, I had to explain that you have to, you're making me, that means I have to, you know, I become the villain of throwing away foods. I commit the sin of gluttony, avarice, you know, all that. You know, you're, you're putting that sin of wasting food upon me. I'm not here. I'm he not here to be your sin eater. If any of you understand that. <clears throat> she got upset started playing the crying game i don't know if i believe anybody anymore and she was she obviously spent i'd say just by the weight and stuff she had spent probably at least 50 bucks in starbucks on those two bags and i said no and and she tried to insist on leaving them and i said no you take them with you and then she goes and then she started immediately pouring on the tears my husband died a few days ago and I went, ma'am, I'm, yeah, we've all lost loved ones. I've got worst case PTSD. I've watched loved ones die. I've watched my enemies die. You think I really give a shit? All you people thoughts and prayers and stuff. You people really give a shit that I care about a complete stranger. Sure, she lost her husband. But I don't really need to hear your fucking grief, Okay. I've mentioned this in other videos is that I don't really need to hear you talking about your minor case of PTSD. I don't really, I don't, I'm not the type to ever give thoughts and prayers on Facebook unless it's as a joke. Have you ever noticed? I'm going to try to finish with this. Have you ever noticed that almost 100%, of all thoughts and prayers and stuff come from women who rush on there to show their empathy, a fictional word used by philosophers and science fiction writers. No such thing as an empath. You can be a sympathetic person but you cannot be an empathetic person. You cannot actually feel the pain of other people. I don't want to have to feel her pain. I'm having a relatively good day. I've spent two nights setting up two, actually I've been over 60 hours setting up. My legs are doing fairly well. A little tightness in the calves, but no formation of blood clots and stuff. I don't need to have somebody shit on me and shit like that, especially make me feel guilty. Your attempt to make me feel guilty, even though I told her I was going to have to throw it away. Your attempt to make me feel guilty for throwing away high priced food and stuff that I just, cause yesterday I did violate my diet. I came out okay. I kept it to the minimum of the GMO and toxic vegetable shit Kept it to a minimum. 
and I'm okay today. I'm not, I'll tell you what, Imodiumide AD actually does work. If you have, or are beginning to have the first reactions to GMOs and glyphosate and all that shit, take just one dose about every other day, every third day, and that will stop loose stools and diarrhea. Oh, actually, when you really got bad diarrhea, you got to take two pills and then 24 hours, take another two pills to really stop a bad case of diarrhea. But the woman that came up here, she had absolutely no, because she said, well, I'm going to repeat her final words here. I didn't do it for you. I did it. I didn't do it for you. I did it for me. I wanted to feel good. My husband died a few days ago. Exactly. You gave for all the wrong reasons. You gave conspicuously. You gave me shit. Anybody, I have a reputation in town for rejecting. There's some of Starbucks, food, but I'm just, I'm worried about, you know, you know, that could have actually, I didn't really because her vehicle apparently was way over there. I'm very worried about it. yesterday. I was actually really cutting along the lines of, I'm worried about somebody because poisoning the homeless with simple over-the-counter shit to just make them messy, get, make give them a hard time, like uh, syrup of Ipecac, uh, Miralax, crap like that, is very common in Austin, Santa Barbara. I want to finish with this. I remember in, it was like the winter of 91 or 92, 91, 91 92, that somebody was poisoning the homeless around Santa Barbara by, they didn't say which poison, but a, a simple one could be tetrahydrazoline eye drives. Somebody was taking like bottles of wine, opening the cap, not making it, and looking like it was some alcoholic who took one drink and then set it down on the edge of a corner of a building. And they got, that happens a lot, actually. And there were, I think, about four cases where they ended up in the hospital. So, please spare me. And it's now a minimum of full two hours that that car has been sitting there, engine running, while the liberal inside is probably talking about, you know, we really got to work on this climate change thing and stuff. And you people are fucking unbelievable.